Woo! Stretching pretty good. And... Hey, I'm Kevin with Mallard Painting. Today we are going to take a deep dive into exterior caulking. We're gonna have two categories. We're gonna have a water-based caulking category and we're gonna have a solvent-based category. Okay, so here's what we got. I basically created uh, this little thing, making a, making a gap uh, in between these two boards. We can make sure that the gap there is nice and even on the top and the bottom. Uh, and then I'm gonna squeeze the caulking in the, um, in between the wood and I'm gonna pull these both out. Uh, and then we're gonna leave them here to dry. I'm actually gonna take them out there, leave them in the sun for a week. I have the table set up over here on the southwest corner of my home. So this is actually gonna get uh, the hottest part of the day. Uh, luckily this week, um, it's starting out in the 65, uh, high of 65. And by the end of the week and through the weekend, we're 85 degree temperatures. So these should get a really, really good uh, sun bake this uh, week. It's been exactly one day. These things are in full sun again. And what I kind of did after day one, I wanted to see, you know, which ones were already dry, which ones were still soaking wet and kind of go through. And I've been kind of just coming through and looking at the back of these. Um, and it looks like this quad max is already pretty well dry. The big stretch after one day, is still soaking wet on the back side um so yeah and still really flimsy let's check out the dynaflex ultra uh, oh yeah still soaking wet uh, sure max uh, soaking wet optima which we do believe is the quad max let's see if it acts the same uh, dry just like the quad Mac um, so yeah as I thought seven day dry time on that quad um, all pro this is the still soaking wet where's the tower tech there's the tower tech um, it's got a lot more dry this one so maybe it is a little different let's try the other one I wasn't able to get the no oh, that one's still pretty wet I wasn't able to squeeze the tower tech out it was so thick um, so I don't maybe it may have not have gotten that quite as thick as some of the others yeah locks on which Welcome. I know this is going to be wet still. Oh yeah, I don't even have to touch that. Soaking wet. So, uh, one day of uh, dry time, oh, not quite 24 hours, maybe a little more like uh, 14 or 15 hours. And we have some clear winters that would be paintable um, next day. Uh, one being the Quad Max. Uh, is, is uh, Quad Max and the Optima, uh, which is Sherwin Williams uh, White Lightning um, product. These two, I would feel safe 
uh, saying they're completely dry and ready for paint. and stretch them apart and see which one can hold on. We have a 40 pound kettlebell. We have this uh, noose hanging from the ceiling. We're gonna hook the uh, sample, one of the holes to this, and then we're gonna hook a ratchet strap in between the kettlebell and try and pull these things apart. Now, before I do this, I wanted to kind of go over my synopsis after kind of pulling and prying, user ability. These things were put in the sun for a little over a week now, so they're all fully dry. Um, a couple of clear winners, if you were trying to get on paint right away. A quad Max and Optima. After 20, well, not even, like about 15, 16 hours, both of these were solid. Hard on the front and the back of the sample after less than 24 hours. So these I would feel very confident in getting paint on right away, next day after application. Loxon is actually the hybrid one is actually rated to be painted 24 hours after application. It still wasn't quite as dry, it was dry on this side, but on the back side, it was still a little sticky and mushy. So, you know, I probably would wait the full 24 hours. Quad Max and Optima, I think would be ready for paint. Now, all these water-based caulking, Shermax, Dynaflex Ultra, All Pro, Tower Tech, Big Stretch, all were still wet after day one and also they they all kind of remained wet for four to five days uh if you flipped them over on the back and kind of pushed on the backs of them uh it it was you know still wet still mushy there's no way we could have done uh that and i and I actually i honestly probably wouldn't feel that confident doing a gap a quarter inch gap on with these and painting the next day smaller stuff nail holes little cracks knot holes and stuff no big deal but doing big fat gaps on an exterior with big stretch tower tech all pro dynaflex or sure max is probably a bad idea in my opinion um, the other thing I did notice is one thing you'll have an issue with um, doing giant gaps in the direct sunlight um, and big stretch actually did this very poorly and since I drilled here you can't see it as well but as I lift it up big stretch actually bubbled in the direct sunlight you guys see that um, and here's the other sample I did two samples you can kind of see that one did it a little less uh, and this one did it a whole bunch there so not no bueno for me um, and you can kind of see the tower tech bubbled a little bit too um, so these elastomeric water-based caulkings are prone to bubbling with big gaps in direct sunlight which is no bueno we want our um, we want it to look like that after a week being baked nice and smooth and shiny and and perfect this is the sherwin williams sure max piece one two three four five Six, seven. seven pumps. Okay, here we have the Dynaflex Ultra from DAP. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, stretch, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! Stretching pretty good. And...
There we have it, folks. All pro, pro stretch. Look at that. That's impressive. Okay. Well, that ain't gonna rip. That's just hanging. Let's see. It actually looks like it's kind of getting stressed out now. Give it a little shake. Okay, next up we have a Tower Tech 2. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There we go, twenty. Hmm. Okay, well, str just hanging this thing up. Uh, my first sample of big stretch uh, before even cranking on it is um, is already tearing, which is a really bad sign. Uh, I'm putting my finger in here and it's still wet in the middle after seven days. That is uh, not very impressive, if you ask me. Uh, good thing I did two samples and we are gonna see if uh, the second sample does the same thing because then we could say this sample was inconclusive. Uh, if they both do it, then I'm gonna give a big stretch, a big, uh, big thumbs down. I got the big stretch sample here hooked up. I wanted to have everyone watch me hook it up. Uh, this is my second attempt uh, at big stretch. We are going to hook this bad boy up. There we go. Feeding my, my ratchet strap through. Okay. Kind of what I've been doing on these ratchet straps, I've been pulling tight. And starting the video, once I got that much tension on it. Big stretch, uh, cut number two. So let's try, this is my second attempt. I have not pumped at all. We're gonna start now. One, two. Two pumps. Three pumps. Three pumps. So very disappointed with big stretch. Um, you can see the middle of this is still wet. Now it probably would perform better if it was dry. I'm sure it would perform better if it was dry, but this sat in the sun for over seven days. Now, is that an exterior caulking you're gonna to wanna to put on your house and paint right away? I don't think so. Especially if you do a little bit bigger gaps, this is not a, a, a good choice for me. So three pumps on that one. Okay, next up we have uh, Optima. Eighteen, nineteen, 
20. Super impressed by this. That's 20 pumps. And look at that. It hasn't even stretched. That is some impressive hopping. So far the best out of the bunch. Zero stretching at all. I mean, it's maybe stretched an eighth inch. Okay, last of the water-based series caulkings. Uh, we have Quad Max made by OSI. performance you can see zero stretching we got 40 pounds hanging from this thing suspended and this was dry in 12 hours maybe sooner all the way through all the way through to the back same with the optima so if you're looking for a water-based hybrid caulking uh quad max or optima are it out of all those caulkings in my opinion uh they're both new hybrid caulkings um all right so let's do the uh solid base next okay next we have the solvent base quad one Three. Three. And still a little, a little wet in the center after a little over seven days. So this will be uh, maybe a good uh, caulking to side with and let sit a month, but not so great for trying to paint, you know, right after you caulk. So this one scores three. All right. Second on the solvent base is the old school OG Volcom. Here we go. One. Okay, last caulking on our testing is the Loxon H1 from Sherwin Williams. One, two, three, four, five, six, All right, final thoughts from our testing. I would have them, these solvent base category, I'd have these three uh, quad being the worst for, well, especially for a painter. I'm sure if you gave it a month to dry, it's probably a fantastic caulking, but who's got a month to wait when you're getting ready to paint an exterior? Um, so number one, you're at a disadvantage using oil and polyurethane caulking, getting that all over your hands. It's awful. So, you know, quad probably th three week dry time. Volcom was dry after about four days. So I'd put that in second place. Um, it, now the locks on stretch slightly more than the Volcom. However, the locks on is ready for paint in 24 hours. The Volcom is not. Uh, so what happens if you paint too soon is you see faded spots wherever the caulking is. The, the uh, Volcom would off gas through the paint while the paint is trying to cure. And then about two to four years later, you would see fade, uh, faded paint everywhere where caulking was smeared. Y'all have seen that, I'm sure of it. So in the solvent based category, I got uh, Loxon H1 as the winner. All right, final thoughts for the uh, water-based caulkings. Um, and it's no surprise, Quad Max and Optima are my top choice for your exterior siding or exterior caulking. This stuff was dry super fast, uh, ready for paint next day, easy, 12 hours. You could, you could caulk this stuff at 5 p.m show up the next morning at 8 a.m. and paint this no problems. The tubing even says it's ready for paint in one hour. Now this is a quarter inch gap. 
So, you know, both of these got 20 plus pumps with zero stretching. Um, in second place, I would have Tower Tech and All Pro. I mean, both of them stretched out, you know, about yay far and didn't tear after 20 pumps you know i let them hang there for about a minute and didn't get a rip out of them so actually i'd probably do this these two are in second place now the issue with these two though is if you do big gaps in the sun both of them were bubbling a little bit uh from all that heat and the the caulking trying to off gas from within so i would still pick these all day long over these two but these would be great for for doing knot holes and little little cracks and stuff like that um, in third place is the dynaflex ultra it had 20 pumps but it ended up tearing and the all pro and tower tech did not tear and then this super, this surprises me big time. Super disappointed in Big Stretch, you know. It's been around a long time. It's very expensive. Retails around $10 a tube. You know, Shermax from Sherwin-Williams performed better with seven pumps, was dry way quicker. Um, and then, you know, obviously uh, Big Stretch. And now, you know, had I let it wait uh, dry three weeks, you know, it may have been different but nonetheless you know big stretch had the the bubbling going on it didn't dry very fast at all and both of them tore almost immediate three pumps and this one i didn't even get one pump in it already started tearing so a big thumbs down on that uh anyway i hope you liked the video listen i spent my own time my own money to bring you this entertainment to help you find the best exterior caulking for your project please give me a subscribe if you want to see me make more cool videos like this like the page share this video with your friends who are using you know these crappy caulkings and tell them hey you gotta switch up your caulking dog